So this video is geared towards the students out there who need to carry their textbooks around. Wait, what? Sorry, textbooks are a thing of the past now? Um, okay, well, uh, how about the young business people with their fancy mobile personal computers with, you know, Lotus Notes and... Uh, no? No, not that either? Computers basically fit in your pocket now? Okay, well, crap. I can't figure out what all the young kids might need to carry around with them, but in case they do need something, this video is about the Tilt Energy Plus backpack with a built-in USB power bank so those kids can go all day and all night, as long as they use protection, that is. We don't need more teen pregnancies, which... You know what? This is... Just roll the intro. This is going from bad to worse. Corsair Gaming RGB keyboards feature precision Cherry MX RGB key switches for 16.8 million color per key backlighting for virtually unlimited customization. Click now to learn more. The most obvious benchmark I could come up with for a tech backpack was to pack all my tech crap in it, go to Germany for four days, and then see how it holds up compared to my trusty Vista bag. So, off I went. By the way, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss our Cherry and Sennheiser factory tours. Those are going to be awesome. So let's kick off with a physical rundown. On the outside, things are looking pretty good. The right shoulder strap has two cable management elastics that you can use to run a charging cable from the 10,400 milliamp hour battery inside to your device hand and a loop that personally I'd use to throw a carabiner on so I could quickly attach and detach things or to hold the IEMs that are connected to the mini disc player that I keep in the Sorry, what? What's that? This joke is old now? Just like me? Ouch. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> well, I guess you could put something else on it if you want. Uh, the left strap is no less interesting. At the bottom is the condom pocket I showed off before. There's another charging pocket pass-through, and then there's this Tilt logo right here with a programmable NFC tag under it. You can check out our video about these handy little doodads here if you can't imagine what that might be good for. Which leads us to the padding on the back. It's thick and breathable, but like the pads on the shoulder straps that seem to be positioned to make as little contact with the wearer as possible, it left me scratching my head a little bit. It and the plastic support it sits on to make room for the handy luggage handle slot are completely flat, something I could have forgiven more easily if the shoulder straps included a waist or at least a chest strap to snug the bag up against my back a little bit better. Mind you, I'm pretty sure that the kids today wear their backpacks like this anyway, so none of this is likely to matter. The handle on top is well padded and reasonably well constructed, and looking around the rest of the outside you'll find six more smallish external pockets, two of which are nylon lined and have cable pass-throughs to the charger compartment, and the other four of which have other special characteristics. This one has a wonderfully soft liner for your precious cargo. This one has a drink holder in it that I found worked very, very well on my trip in spite of my oversized water bottle. This one inexplicably has a waterproof style zipper. And finally, my favorite one here, maybe that zipper would have made more sense on this one, um, has the same super soft liner on a protective removable pocket that took great care of my home phone and my sunglasses on my trip. And when you remove it, you find yet another charger pass through. Woot! Which brings us to the bigger pockets, where things start to get a little bit less enthusiastic. The laptop pocket has the nice soft liner, but fairly minimal padding at the bottom compared to the last backpack I reviewed here, so you should be somewhat careful plunking your bag down after a long day. And maybe I had unrealistic expectations, but I really wanted the battery bank to be more tightly integrated than just a standard brick-shaped battery bank in a pocket. I mean, it's fine. Press power to check the charge status. Uh, it's got one 2-amp port and two 1-amp ports to charge up to three devices total, two low draw and one high draw. And uh, they include three micro USB cables, one of which has a 30-pin Apple adapter, so you don't even need to provide all your own cables. But I would I'd really like to see a second-generation product work the battery into the lining somewhere or something, so I don't have this random brick pressing against my laptop that also makes it hard to use that pocket for anything else. 
Since we're in this pocket, we can have a look at the cable management straps, which work just fine. Tilt recommends tying strain prevention knots in them in case something gets snagged from the outside, and I would recommend the same. And other than that, well, there's not much else to say about them, is there? Opening up the soft lined tablet pocket right next to this one gives us an opportunity to look at the cable management holes from both sides and also a look at the tablet pocket. It's a tablet pocket. Okay, not much to say about that. Which leads us finally to the main pocket. The one thing about this bag that really frustrated me on my trip. The bag is designed with a hard bottom so that it stands on its own, but the main pocket, the only place big enough to really store anything substantial, opens from the front. So it's hard to access from a standing position without tipping over the bag, and then you'll need to bend over anyway. The internals are well laid out for what that's worth though, with cable management pass-throughs into those two side pockets I showed you, a key loop, a variety of coarse and fine mesh pockets, and a little see-through pencil case thing that sits on the bottom to help you stay organized. But I just found it a little bit annoying to use. If I opened it a little, I had trouble seeing inside, and if I opened it wide, the whole thing fell open and everything could come out. So I guess that's the conclusion. Who is this bag for? Well technophiles who don't want to carry much other than tech crap in their backpack. And I guess it's probably a pretty big market of people who will be interested in this bag. So even if Tilt would have a hard, would have to make something a little bit bigger and more ergonomic to appeal to me, I still think they have a winner on their hands. Guys, thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment if your feelings are more complicated than this. Also, check the link in the video description if you want to support us. We have a uh, link where you can give us a monthly contribution. You can buy a cool t-shirt like this one, and you can change your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code, so we get a small kickback whenever you buy random stuff on Amazon. It helps us out a lot. Thanks again for watching, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.